We all know the scientific greats. Darwin and his theory of evolution, Newton and his laws of gravity. But there are droves of unsung heroes of the scientific world whose works deserve much recognition. Scientists like Mary Somerville, Henrietta Swan Levy or Alfred Russell Wallace to this day remains forgotten. But today we will focus on a female astronomer, in fact a celestial Cinderella, Caroline Herschel. If you were to type in who discovered the first comet, names such as Edward Emerson Barnard who was the person behind the first photographic discovery of a comet, or Jean Lewis Pons who was the most successful visual comet discoverer of all time will appear. Unfortunately, Caroline Herschel who was the first woman that has ever discovered a comet will not appear. So my project aims to educate about a magnificent heroine of astronomy. Caroline Herschel was a German-British astronomer who contributed significantly in the field of astronomy. Even though she was only one and a half metres in height, her vibrant personality is said to have amazed countless people during her time. Her most significant contributions in the field of astronomy are the discoveries of several comets. But before we look deeper into Caroline Herschel's life, let's look at what comets are. Comets are often referred to as dirty snowballs. They are left over from the formation of stars and planets billions of years ago. Comets that we see in our solar system start out as big chunks of rock and ice just floating around in something called the Oort cloud. When the gravity from a large passing body, like a star, becomes strong enough, some large chunks of ice get pulled away from the cloud and head towards the sun. As that ball of ice gets close enough to the sun, its heat begins to melt some of the ice that makes up the comet. The melted ice becomes a gaseous tail that extends away from the source of the heat. The tail is pushed out by the sun's solar wind. Caroline Herschel was born in Hanover on March 16, 1750. The fifth of the six children of Isaac Herschel and Anna Ilse Moritzson, Herschel had to endure a very tough childhood. Since the family was not very well off, Herschel's father could only afford a limited education for her. The first half of Caroline's life was filled with pain and misery. She suffered from a number of diseases in her childhood. She was diagnosed with typhus at the age of 10. She was already suffering from facial scars and a disfigured eye. Because of these problems, her father believed that no one would want to marry her. However, her father wished all his children to study music and mathematics, but her mother wanted her daughter to take care of the household works. It was Herschel's brother's love for his sister which saved her from these miseries. Her brother, Friedrich Wilhelm, later changed his name to William, cared for Herschel a lot. He moved to London and established himself as a musician. On a visit to Hanover, he decided to rescue his sister from misery and brought her to England. Here, he tried to educate his sister and taught her music. She had a decent voice and was well known around all the major opera houses in the country. Then, William shifted his focus toward astronomy. Each evening, on return from work, he would retire to bed with milk and an astronomy book, and the following morning he would give Caroline a lecture on what he had learned the previous evening. Soon Caroline became just as interested in astronomy and she began supporting William in his work on telescopes. While he continued to teach her algebra, geometry and trigonometry which became important for her future work on reducing astronomical observations. Though Caroline could never memorise her multiplication tables, she helped her brother a great deal in solving the complex mathematical problems in astronomy. Caroline Herschel also recorded and deduced data and assisted her brother during observations. She possessed unbelievable skills when it came to mounting the telescopes, polishing them and even recording the sightings. In 1781, William discovered the planet Uranus and astronomy became his livelihood with her sister by his side. It was only while William was away that Caroline was able to make her own observations. Caroline frequently used a small Newtonian sweeper to study the sky on her own. On February 26, 1786, Caroline discovered an open cluster known today as NGC 2360. As a reward, William presented her with a new Newtonian sweeper. She went on to discover 40 new nebulae. 
On August 1, 1786, Caroline identified an object travelling slowly through the night sky. She observed it again the next night and immediately alerted other astronomers by mail to announce her discovery and inform them of its path so that they could study it. Caroline had become the first woman to discover a comet, which was Comet C 1786 P1 Herschel. In 1788, her brother William married, freeing Caroline from many of the household duties. She turned her free time toward the sky and went on to discover seven other comets over the next decade. Caroline Herschel died on January 9, 1848. She penned the inscription on her tombstone which reads, The eyes of her who is glorified here below turn to the starry heavens. One of the Newtonian sweepers that Caroline Herschel used to sweep for comets is described below. Caroline Herschel contributed majorly to recording the research between William and her in catalogues that were later published. Without the assist of Caroline's strong ability to calculate equations from the observations, William's research would not have accurate results. Caroline was even granted a salary by the king. This 50 per year salary turned Caroline into the first woman scientist to ever be appreciated for outstanding work in astronomy. Caroline Herschel earned the title as the First Lady of Astronomy because of her eight comet discoveries and the research work she shared with her brother William. From rags to telescopes, Caroline took to heart what she learned from her father and brother and applied that essential knowledge to become the great female astronomer she was. Her success did not appear overnight, like that of Cinderella in her Clock Strikes Midnight story. With hard work, strong determination and family influence, Caroline Herschel showed that even when the odds were stacked against her, she could still achieve the eight comet discoveries. Overcoming barriers built up since her early childhood, Caroline Herschel proved herself independent and truly rose up to be an inspiration for not only other astronomers but for people around the world. Caroline Herschel quotes, However long we live, life is short, so I work, and however important man becomes, he is nothing compared to the stars. There are secrets, dear sister, and it is for us to reveal them.